Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Look where I am. Back in the car, huh? I got a shade undercrown. What are they called? Put a little foot band off here. And do I have a cutter? Yes. It has been a while. It's been a year and a half at least since we've done one of these. And it's probably been over a year since I've had a cigar in this car. So let's get her lit up. I am done work from the day. It's just five o'clock actually, so we'll have plenty of traffic to contend with. Always fun. Sorry, I should have turned the radio off. Safety first. And folks, I apologize. I cannot really see the screen because of the sun. So hopefully you can see me and you can hear me. All right. So let's head out. But I want you to notice, if, if you remember the old videos, this looks pretty much the same. It hasn't changed very much. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this restaurant, Dead Ahead now, that used to have a different name, but the owners just remodeled it and revamped it. It's the, it's the same owners and they, you know, took advantage of the shutdown to, to do some remodeling. Uh, there is an Indian restaurant that's missing in there, um, but they actually just moved down the road a bit. So none of the businesses in this have, have closed and I think that's pretty, pretty impressive. You know, we got through this, this whole COVID thing, at least right here without too much uh, negative impact. Of course, that's because the economy was strong and uh, I don't know if we'll survive a second shutdown if that were to come. So let's hope that doesn't happen because the economy is limping now and I don't have a lot of confidence in the, uh, the folks holding the rudder. Funny, it just seems like we've gotten, I don't know, yeah, we don't want good stuff anymore. We, don't. we had enough of that good stuff, let's, uh, let's go back to gas lines, crazy. Uh, at five o'clock at this intersection, this, this may take us a while. But that's okay. That's just fine. Look at that. Hey, hey. We got lucky. Yeah, so back at work. Uh, not every day. Not nine to five, five days a week. Um, but as much as possible. And... Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to be reasonable about it. If I've got a day where I'm just going to be sitting in my office all day, I'd rather sit at home. But if I've got a, any day where there's any meeting where I can attend it in person, I, I try to go and attend that meeting in person. I think it's important that we uh, we try to be normal. You know, we try to we try to get back to the way things used to be. Oh, that's a nice cigar. 
It has been a long, long time. And I'm happy. Beautiful day today. I think it rained earlier, but uh, no sign of it now. Beautiful. Come on. Beautiful, bright sunshine. Warm. Uh, that's got to be wrong. My temperature gauge is saying it's only 77 out there. I, it's got to be warmer than that. But not much. I put it somewhere in the low to mid 80s. So the one bad thing about going to work is I had forgotten how cold my office is. It's 70 degrees in my office. Now you might not think that's cold, but I think that's cold. So I've got a little company issued space heater. <clears throat> because you're, you have to jump through all sorts of hoops to get them, you know, they're considered dangerous and whatnot, but I have one. And here I am in the middle of July, turning it on. You know how it is when you get older, or maybe you don't know how it is when you get older. It's not good to be cold. Not good to be cold. Yeah, so last night I realized it's Wednesday and I'm going to be at work. I'm going to do a roadway ramble. So i got to get the camera together. i got to find the camera. <laughs> Not this one, but the, uh, the road camera. Get the batteries all charged up for that. Hoping I remember how to edit this. If not, you might just be getting another video. Well, we shall see. So I'll take a moment for a commercial if you don't mind. I uh, hope you can join us on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. My guest is going to be Mike Starcher on uh, Conversations with Pipe Smokers. Had some time to talk to Mike this afternoon and uh, boy, we're we're not going to have any trouble filling the hour, I'll tell you that. Uh, Mike's an interesting guy and he's got a lot to say, so I, th I think you're going to really enjoy that. He, um, I don't want to give too much away, but he's an uh, avid pipe smoker, pipe collector, has uh, involved in, in several pipe organizations that I think you'll be interested to hear about, and uh, we'll, we'll learn more about that on Friday. So that's Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Ah, uh, this is, uh, I almost feel bad that I started this video because I'm enjoying the, the drive and the sun so much. But so hopefully you enjoy long periods of watching the road go by and me smoke a cigar. And I will, we'll go through a little commercial area up here. It's the, uh, the main street. And you'll be able to see it's still quite, uh, quite vi vitalized and you know, there's one or two stores that closed, but other things opened up in their spots right away. So, just goes to show you how how good things were. The biggest complaint that I hear these days, you know, when I go to restaurants or anything like that uh, is that they can't hire people. They cannot get people to to take jobs. 
and that's because they're making more money staying at home. They gotta stop that. Because there's not a limitless pool of money that we can pay people from. And uh, we're losing productivity, and productivity is what drives the economy. So we gotta fix that. But. Take a squeeze. see as we go through here they've got the um, the veterans of, of war banners hanging up which I always like seeing this is the, the borough uh, this is borough of Lansdale that I'm going through and they they put these up every year in the summertime I, beginning with uh, Memorial Day they go up and there are photographs and a little bit of information about uh, folks that were veterans of wars going all the way back to World War One. Local folks. Yeah, their name, what branch of the military they were in, and which war they served in. area I was referring to. There's some restaurants in here and an odd number of tattoo parlors. But, you know. Doing some remodeling over there. This is what life in this country feels like to me, the, this, this drive, you know, seeing these little businesses open, seeing people out shopping in them, people of all walks of life, people of all creeds and colors and everything else, and you know, that's, that's America. Just hope we can get back to that. Stop all the nonsense and just get back to being good people. But of course you could say that about so many walks of life, right? I just realized you might have... Oh no, that's my arm, okay. I was worried that my hand was like covering the camera. my friends, I obviously did not have a lot to talk about today. Give me time. I'll warm up again. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a trip with me. So I'm going to sign off now. I hope to see you on Friday. And if not, I'll catch you over the weekend. So enjoy the rest of the week and we'll talk soon. Bye now.